like, hey, I can relate to white people. You know why? Because my childhood is very different than your childhood. Because when I grew up, it was always about the feather duster, the hand on the ear, the backhand, the ruler, the tree branch, the slipper. See what this is? To the untrained eye, this is simply just a damn feather duster. But to the trained Asian eye, this is a weapon of math. And which is why to this day, we have a lot of emotional damage. Which is why exactly in this video, I will be reacting to the one and only Stephen He, Asian parent punishment, emotional damage, you know? Something's wrong with my brain. I think that's from all the, anyways. Welcome to Failure Management. In our previous lesson, uh, we explored various weapons from the long range slipper to the short range tree branch. Today, uh, we're focusing on yeah, that, even though that's a joke, that is pretty serious. Fun story, one day, my mom was walking down the grocery, getting buying her groceries from the local Vietnamese supermarket, and she saw some dude cutting down trees and doing a little trimming, and she went over there and asked, hey, can I have a branch? And my little kid was so innocent, I'm like, what is that for? Emotional damage. Lesson one. Hold the light. Steven, uh, here's a light, okay? Hold this, I need to fix the, the fuel pressure re regulator pipe. It's too big. Give your failure simple and easy to follow directions. But here's the key. You must contradict yourself. Okay, hold it high like here, okay? Like this high? Okay, hold it high up. What are you trying to do? Fail geometry, huh? Why are you holding it so high? Hold it low, low, okay? Like, oh. this, like this? Like not any lower or any higher, like just here, just this high. Yeah. Okay. The one in the box. I know, but which... This relates to me because growing up as an immigrant kid, it was always like, it's always DIY. We're like, we're not going to take it to the shop. Why the hell? Why we do that one, you know? Do it myself. I say 250. Line. In our previous lesson, uh, we discussed the grocery line technique where you leave your child in line for the register and leave to get something stupid. The paralyzing anxiety. Bro, I remember having social anxiety of my parents being like, hey, wait here and uh, I'm going to go grab something. And they would leave me. And that's where I think my abandonment issues started. Creating punishment is very difficult, but creatively fulfilling. I try to find an artistic expression while at the same time dealing the physical and emotional damage. Steven, hold up your hand. Up, higher. Hold this pillow. See, the genius of this punishment is it look easy to hold a pillow. Luckily, I never had to get dealt with the It's not easy. Hand okay, Steven, I go watch Gordon Ramsay. You move, I will pin your ass, okay? I never look, I just whoop his ass anyway. The unfairness delivers extra emotional damage. Very effective. Next, we have one of my favorites. Go get a stick for me to beat you with. Your teacher Cole said you excel in math with 99%. I don't have a dictionary, but excel must mean stupid. Where the hell the other 1%? What, you eat it? Go get a stick. Usually that I get a stick, a broom, a lamp, whatever nearby. But once a week, I give him special treatment. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> Any sort of long stationary object that resembled a pole. Yeah. Because Steven's so stupid, he don't know the smaller sticks hurt more. See, the big sticks are just sticks. The smaller sticks are whips. Great. The confusion that brings an extra very special psychological damage. Very effective. Oh, what's that? You're, you're, not the, you're not the best player on the team. If we're talking the punishment, we have to mention the holy grail, the slipper. Oh, what? You forgot to cook the rice? Oh, okay. So this one my grandma passed down to my mom, my mom passed down to me. See the most amazing thing about the- Even though he said that in an accent, it's, it's really sad. Where it's like, their parents taught them, they got that, and they're gonna pass it down to their kids. And this is where our generation, where we break that habit of like, that ain't okay. Y'all grow up grew up in like the 1950s or 60s or 70s but that can cause a lot of issues man the slipper is the quick draw speed if your son forget to cook the rice 
bam, you can have slipper outbound in 0.3 seconds. However, let the defining trait of the slipper is the long range capability. I know it looked like short range melee weapon for defending the disappointment. If you need that distance, it doubles as a long range weapon. This weapon was invented before physics. When we were back in China, you can finesse it through time space. And uh, yeah guys, that was my reaction to uh, Stephen He's Asian parent punishment, the first one I think. But luckily I never got the slipper. Remember, I got the spoon, got the fork, the chopstick, the branch. And, you know, at that time, they only know what they they know. But, has that messed me up with emotional damage? Probably. But, like I said, we don't continue that. And what I wish, or I continue to pass down, is explaining what I did wrong. Explaining and understanding your emotions better is much more of a better repercussion than physicalities you know but uh yeah man that was my reaction to this you guys want me to react to another one let me know in the comments my name is peter chained it up here broke the habit bth peter see y'all in the next one